Hey, this is John Carrado with Stop at Goaltending, Coaching Director. What I'd like to show you right now is five different types of drills that you can do when you have five minutes at practice that can make yourself better. The first thing we'd like to do is show you a sequence that we use frequently. It's called the loop-to-loop -loop puck handling circuit. Again, if you have five minutes of practice time, this is a good, good way to get yourself better with your puck handling. Daisy Boynton here will be our demonstrator and she'll show you what to do. Drill one, here we go. Daisy's working some smooth hands as she goes around the puck. Nice and smooth as she's moving. She brings it back, her second sequence. She'll work a double loop around the puck. A lot of hand movement, smooth transition from puck to puck. Stay with it, stay with it, stay with it. Yep. Daisy's third transition. She's using a hinge, bringing the puck outside the shoulders. Again, improving her puck handling techniques. Final one in progression. Daisy's gonna add some what we call mobility skating. Working her edges as she moves with the puck. Okay, come with me. During our loop-to-loop -loop puck handling circuit, we showed you four variations. A single wrap around the puck, a double wrap, a wide hinge, and little mobility pivoting around the puck. Those are simple drills that can improve your hands and your puck handling skills as well. Get better. For our next drill, Daisy's gonna demonstrate some specific shuffle movements in a tight area. All you need is two pucks and about seven to 10 feet to complete these drills. First drill she's gonna show you, three tight shuffles. Focus on her maintaining good hand positioning, Body positioning, quick movements, quick recoveries. One more time, one more time. Fantastic. The second progression she's gonna show you is now a longer shuffle. So she's gonna work a double shuffle here. Again, maintaining stick positioning, hand positioning, body over the puck. Third progression she's gonna show you is what we call a Swedish or a lateral shuffle. Really concentrating the footwork here, as you see her left skate come across with her movement. Helps you cover a larger area of net in a shorter amount of time. What Daisy's done right there is showing you three different shuffle progressions. Now we wanna work some recovery movements with this. Now she just start off with a simple butterfly. What we're focusing on here, proper foot positioning and a small, strong cross crease recovery. Plants that foot, up and over. That's supposed to be up and over. Planting up and over. Plant shuffles up and over. Planting up and over. Now from here, we can progress this into a butterfly push. We're gonna have a heel plant to stop momentum at the end of it. So again, the good plant, the good push, and she sets. Good plant, push, and she sets. Next progression we can work off of this, as she stands up, is what we call a strong lateral release. Thing that has a long shuffle into a butterfly, and it's gonna really nail her positioning right on this puck right here. And up. Fantastic, lateral release. Think of it again, as a long shuffle into a butterfly, you're holding your edges as long as you can here. Next progression we're gonna work. Again, working in a small area, we're gonna work a momentum change. We're gonna work a butterfly slide to a butterfly push back and up. Yep, yep. 
and up. Smooth. The first one was perfect. Smooth transition. Slide, plant, and up. Slide, plant, and up. Good, hold up. Again, what we've just shown you with a small area of ice to work with and two pucks. We've improved our footwork, we've improved our recoveries, we've improved momentum changes. Once again, get better. The next drill you can work on, what we call an overlap step to the post. This is when the defenseman has forced this guy a little bit wider. You have a lot more weight loaded up on your post side leg. You're anticipating a pass, but at the same time, you're still taking away the short side shot. Daisy will show you the proper demonstration. Better overlap. Fantastic demonstration of a small shuffle creating an overlap to take away the short side. Now we want to show you some techniques of moving to the post and off the post at the same time. We're going to start right here with Daisy who's going to be on her, what we call our 45 degree angle. All she's going to do is step back to the post. She'll flatten out and track a puck like it's going behind the net. She's going to step, set, she flattens and tracks a puck. Steps, flattens, tracks a puck. We'll see it one more time. Fantastic example of stepping back to the post, setting, flattening out, and tracking the puck going behind the net. We're going to work now some movements where Daisy comes off of the post. We're going to work here as just a double shuffle overlap from the post. She's so starting at the post. Double shuffle overlap. Fantastic. Fantastic. Again, a little double shuffle overlap, and then the play goes up top to the middle, and small footwork to follow that play. What we want to work now here is some recoveries and movements to the post from different angles of the crease. I like to call these Euro shuffles or lateral shuffles, okay? This is backwards shuffle the post from the peak. So she's going to start at the peak of her crease. It's just a backwards movement into a shuffle as she finds her post. You can even work this move from the far side 45 with a little bit wider C cut as you shuffle into your post. Smooth transitions, all one movement as she finds the post. Fantastic movement, recovering to the post. Last thing we can focus on with post work, we can work some recoveries from our butterflies to refine the post. So right now, Daisy will start under 45. A simple butterfly recovery as she sets to her post. Butterfly recovery. Little transition to an RVH. One more. A simple butterfly push, transition to an RVH on her post. Final one we'll show you is a butterfly recovery where she's in her butterfly, she simply plants her foot, gets up and over, and sets out of her post. Again, Smooth transition, comfortable movements to and from the post. Fantastic post work by Daisy. Again, get better. A great way to get better is to practice moving to and from your net in a puck handling and or dumping situation. Daisy's gonna show you three different techniques with two different types of footwork to get you to and from your net. Right now, Daisy's working a double T push, stopping, hinging with a forehand pass. Right now, you see Daisy will work a crossover step to get to her net, hinge with a forehand pass. One more time, crossover, hinge, 
forward pass. Second progression you're gonna see. Again, double T push. She looks up, backhand pass. Double T push. Heads up, she looks at the play. Backhand pass. Again, different footwork. Some goalies like to work a crossover step in this play. Back into the net. Head up, makes a smart decision. Right now you're gonna see Daisy work a transition as the play's coming. She hinges to her forehand to go cross ice up the other side of the boards. Again, double T push, transition to the forehand. She's gonna wrap it up again. Crossover step, transition, comes back. Let's see one more time, crossover. Transition, and back to the net. What we just saw right there, three different puck handling sequences, two different types of footwork. When you have time to yourself, and you have a net to yourself, that's another way to get better. Our final progression we want to show you, the skating technique we like to call mobility. It's combining your movements, with agility. Daisy right here is gonna walk through some of our basic techniques we like to use to improve your skating, footwork, and foot speed. She's working a pivot with shuffles and a step back. Pivot, shuffles, and a step back. Second progression. She's adding pivots with a crossover step. Third progression. She's actually working a pivot with a cross under step. Again, everything is designed to improve your skating, your edge work, and your mobility. Pivot to a cross crease. Crossover. Adding the cross under off of her pivot. Again, everything designed to improve your footwork, your foot speed, and your mobility. There are your five techniques when you have five minutes to yourself at practice to help you get better.